Hi, hi, people. Hope you had an awesome weekend. I fucking definitely did. It was my little girl's birthday. She was three on there Saturday, so you know, I was spent a bit fucking quality time. Quality time together, and you can't beat it. <laughs> but alright, today's video is going to be about Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry. Because obviously, the programme that they've did with Oprah Winfrey, it airs tonight. And there's going to be a lot of people watch it, <laughs> just to see exactly what's going on. I'm going to watch it just to fucking see what fucking Meghan Markle and that's got to say for themselves. Because it's a fucking strange one, isn't it? Like, these people have demanded, well not so much demanded, but they've asked if we can respect their privacy and leave them alone and they want to get away from everyone and it's a fucking strange one, isn't it? I've never, I've never met anyone who doesn't want to be in the public but is putting herself out in the public. <laughs> Spotify deals and fucking YouTube deals and whatever other deals they've got on the go. They're fucking, they're, very, they're definitely cashing in like on the name. So, wait, they can't cash in on the royal name anymore, but that's not going to fucking stop them, man, is it? It's not going to stop them at all. It's, people are still fucking calling them by their royal names, you know what I mean? So, they win. They win at the end of the day. And there's not any, anyone can do about it, not even the Queen. She's fucking tried and she's failed. They're still going to fucking glan around and say that they're the royal family and make millions of pounds off. The Queen's fucking royal name, <laughs> even though she's told them they can't, but they're just like, nah, fuck you, we're gonna do it anyway. We do what we want. This is a fucking 21st century, we don't do what royalty tells us anymore. That's exactly what they're doing. So, like I say, for fucking a couple who don't want to be in the public eye, they're doing a fucking lousy fucking job of it because <laughs> they've been in the public eye all the time, it's never stopped. But like I say, it's worth giving it a watch, just to see what they're going to say, just to see what questions Oprah's going to ask. I know she was a bit pissed off, like, because they didn't, she didn't really get that exclusive, did she? They, they gave it a fucking, what's his name? Fucking, that annoying fucker, who we got rid of ages ago, who, he's now the American's problem, what's he called? Oh, aye, James Corden, that fucker. <laughs> he got the exclusive, that annoying little fucking shit. Like, America, I love him. You can keep him if you want him. We don't want Corden back. We swapped him for your fucking Madonna. And even even her, we're fucking sick of. <laughs> but I just can keep James Corden if you want. We don't want him back. But I back the fucking uh, Megan. She's, she's basically... She wants her cake and she wants to eat it. I think that's the problem with her. I think in her head... She was going to be the next Diana, and you know, she thought the fucking British people were going to fall in love with her, and it's, it hasn't gone that way at all. It's a shame because you know, I should put her fucking whole fucking like everything that she's got into that fucking deal, what she's fucking made with Harry because that's what it is. It's like a deal, isn't it? It's not like a fucking normal marriage, I wouldn't say. But uh, hi, we'll, we'll see what's said tonight. I'm gonna watch it, me, like I, I wasn't even gonna, but I, I think I will. I think I'll fucking see what they're whinging about now. See what they're trying to fucking change. I mean, the deal is with the royal family is, you know what I mean? You, you don't get to fucking make your mouth go. You get to just keep your mouth shut. You get to live a life of luxury. You live in big fucking giant houses and palaces and shit like that. And the deal is, you keep your mouth shut. Let us run the country. Don't fucking say whatever you want to fucking say about stuff. Even Prince Charles, he, he was another one. That's why I don't want him to be our king, because he fucking spent fucking years like bullying the public about fucking climate change and the Great Reset and shit like that and we'll fucking, we'll don't give a fuck what you royal people have got to say about any situation in our fucking, uh, how we run the country but they'll, they'll always think they can fucking say what they want and that's probably why no one wants him to be king everyone wants William to be king now that's, that's how it should be he's the only one that's kept his mouth fucking shut and his nose clean all the rest of them have been fucking a fucking not exactly good role model so you got Prince Charles fucking shagging women behind his fucking wife's back do you know what I mean it's just that fucking unbelievable the royal family but either meant to be fucking Britain's happy family and that nah no one in Britain likes them and the sooner they're gone the fucking better <laughs> anyway hope you have a fucking fantastic day people love the fucking lawyers yes even you I'll even love you as well yes that's what it's all about Love to the world, love to each other, help each other out. 
very nice, done by a cunt. See you later, people. Take care.